Hello, I'm showing here a quick example of running the PhoneGap or Cordova tests for the QT version of Cordova. We're running here on a Linux desktop running the Nokia QT simulator that allows us to simulate uh, a number of phones such as the Nokia N9 that we're simulating here. Uh, the tests run the same way on a uh, real phone device on any of the supported devices that run Cordova QT. So as you can see, there's a user interface provided uh, in the web view here. It allows you to run a number of different tests. And in conjunction with the simulator, we can compare that to uh, the behavior that we're simulating at the hardware level. So for example, we can select accelerometer, and we can see values of acceleration. And if we go back to the simulator, we can simulate moving the device around and changing acceleration values and confirm that we get the expected results. Similarly, we could test the compass function and see that the compass heading matches what we'd expect. Another example would be contacts, where we can get the phone's contacts database and look at that. Other areas would be things like uh, location or GPS, where we can get the uh, GPS information and we can compare that to what the simulator is passing back to the application. And a couple of other examples. Notifications. There's support for uh, bringing up native dialogues and alerts on the device so we can test that, that it's bringing up the standard uh, user interface components for this particular phone. We can run, for example, the uh, web SQL database functions, try creating a database table and reading it, and exercise, for example, the local storage function. We can also run uh, a series of automated tests by clicking on automatic tests, and we can run either individual tests or the entire test suite. So for example, we could run accelerometer tests and um, see the results here. So we're seeing the uh, about uh, six tests that run and were passed. Um, similarly, we can run any of the tests in particular area, or we can run all of the tests um, in an automated function here. And you see um, it's running the entire suite of uh, currently 224 tests, indicating which ones pass and which ones fail. So we're currently getting a number of failures. Uh, some of these are due to things that uh, can't easily be implemented on QT, and some are things that we just simply haven't implemented or bugs that we're working on. So we uh, currently are improving the, the test results on a, on a daily basis. Uh, so we can start moving that up closer to 100%. So the instructions for running these tests are on our project wiki page. Um, likely you can find that where you found the link to this video. The tests also run uh, pretty much identically on a real phone device, and we may make another video showing that running on a Symbian or Amigo Harman device. And uh, with that, uh, that concludes our little video. If you have any interest in using Cordova QT, please check out our website and give the code uh, a shot and let us know how it works for you.